Hey guys, it's Jackie again, and uh, I noticed a lot of people were showing their ear jewelry collections, and so I wanted to show mine too, because I love it and I'm proud of it. Um, I guess I'm just going to go from small to big. These are a little dirty, so don't look at them that much, but they're fours, and they're really good for just tapering. Like, if I, if I uh, let my ears stretch down, they usually don't go smaller than a four, so I just use these, and then I stretch up these stone ones they're some of my favorites they're really good for stretching with except for this one because it has like a fat body that's fatter than the head or the tail I don't know why I gave it body parts but you know um I can stretch from a four to a zero with these no problem in like a week you just have to go really like I always say really slow and gentle guys and uh and it works really well stretch in the shower play with them and it's awesome and then once I get these stretched up, I'll stretch up to my very, very favorites ever. These ones, which you've seen before. Um, they're like 50 bucks on bodyartforms.com, and they're, oh, they're so nice. Like, they have these little barbs on the end that keep them from falling out of your... Actually, this one broke, and... I learned that you can file glass down, so it's not cutting me anymore. But I adore these earrings, and I wear them even when I'm stretched higher than a double zero, because they're so freaking cool. Uh, let's see, next on the list is my boring seal plugs in a double zero. I'm wearing them in seven sixteenths now, because they're just... They're the most convenient ones to pop in. They're not double flared. They don't dry me up like silicone. Then I've got the standard little Hot Topic glass spirals. I really like these. They're nothing too special. They're cheap. But they're glass. They keep you at a double zero. And they're just, I don't know, they feel good. Glass is my favorite material, guys. I highly recommend you try glass if you haven't. Um, moving on up, I've got these glass ones that uh, I got from a little shop in the mall. They're like cool, like blue shiny dichro in here. And they don't look so cool from the back, but they're sold in a pair. I would recommend getting Gorilla Glass barbs. Um, I would have, but I'm really cheap, so I got the cheap ones instead of the $40 ones. Um, and these are great, too, for just stretching up to a double zero. And so, next I want to show you my uh, Chaos Software little ear skins they're really great like these pink ones look super cute in it's just like a little dash of color in your ear and these clear ones make it look like you're not wearing anything at all the only thing is that the pink ones are way softer and smushier than the uh the clear ones and i don't know why it may be the pigmentation but it sucks and you know what you know what really is making me crazy I dropped the, one, the other one of these the other night, and I cleaned my whole freaking room, and I can't find it. I can't find this, and I don't know what to do. It's not even that clear. I don't know what happened. So I cry inside every night. I also cry inside because they kind of ruined my favorite mood plugs. They, uh, see the dark spots around the rim? It's from wearing them in the shower. They're double flared, which means they have a flare at the top and at the bottom. Actually, the bottom flare is bigger than the top flare. And so when I put these in, they're staying in. And when I take them out, I don't want to put them back in again because it sucks. Um, that's why I wore them in the shower because I didn't want to take them out. And now they're ruined a little, so I'm sad about that. But I think they're still really cool. Um, oh, and last but not least, I have a question for you guys about this. I have my beautiful wood spirals. These are huge. I love them. They're perfect. They weren't that expensive. And they're just, oh, they're so cool looking. But uh, when I put them in my ears, the wood, like, I don't know, it sucks. It sucks all the moisture out of my ears. like, <laughs> and there's no moisture left. And then when I try to get it out, it's like, it's like just having a firm grip and trying to pull this out of someone's hand. Like, it's not going to move. And I was wondering if any of you guys had any advice for me about these kind of wood jewelry. Getting it in and out because it's kind of a pain, so I don't wear these enough. And they're really awesome. Well, that's 
basically all the jewelry I ever use. I mean, I have these and... Oh, and I have this really cool mood ring that I got at Hot Topic. Look at how cool this shit is. It looks... It turns all kind of colors. And it's very, very, very pretty. And it was really, really, really cheap. How can you beat that? Um, without making this too long, I just wanted to show you my jewelry. If you guys have any questions, comments advice for me about wood jewelry that would be much appreciated and uh if you guys want to shop your collections feel free bye